there's so much that you can learn from trading books. And really, we are so blessed to be able to have people who write books and to take the time to put like years and years and years of expertise, of knowledge, of trial and error, in my opinion, lots of uh, stock market, uh, Wall Street tuition, all in one place for you inside of a book. And I mean, I am so grateful for that. This is the How to Trade Stocks Options podcast, brought to you by 10MinuteStockTrader.com, where we cover finance, stocks, options, entrepreneurship, education, and money. And here's your host, voted one of the top 100 people in finance, Christopher Ewell. Hey, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified every time we give you more tools, tips, and tricks to help you trade faster and trade smarter every single week. Hey there, traders. Welcome back to another edition of the live How to Trade Stocks and Options podcast. And on today's episode, uh, I thought about sharing uh, some information I thought would be really useful. So we're coming into 2021. And I just finished some books and I was like, you know what? This would make a great, uh, great episode. Um, so today's episode are, or is going to be three of my favorite trading books. Um, it's funny. Cause I was like, oh, I, uh, I, I can pick my top three books and I can, uh, you know, talk about them. But, uh, to be honest, I have like probably a thousand books literally on the bookshelf behind me here in my library. And, um, I started picking out the books off the shelf and I'm like, uh, this is going to be harder than I thought. So, uh, today I'm going to do, I'm going to make this part one, uh, my favorite trading books for 2021 part one. Um, first is going to be T Boone Pickens's, um, the first billion is the hardest. And this one, I just finished like today, today. Um, I got it for $3. You can see right there. I got this book for $3, but I don't know about you. I am a huge audiobook person. So I actually got the audiobook version as well. And I've had this on the shelf for months and months and months. And I never consumed it until I actually got the audiobook and started reading it. Now, this was really interesting. So T. Boone Pickens, um, I've only heard about him here and there. But apparently he got really famous in the 80s and 90s for his uh, uh, hostile takeover of companies. Oh, hey, real quick. I totally forgot to mention. If you're watching this live, could you please type in the chat... Uh, hashtag 10 minute traders or if you're watching on the replay type in uh, hashtag team replay that would help a ton and then uh smash the like button as they say that way it goes out to more people and and more people can know when we're live now that'll work on both youtube and facebook uh because we're going live on both of those right now but so t boone pickens um so i live in the dallas area and have my whole life and um apparently he's a dallas guy too uh it talks about in the story how he uh uh, grew up and lived in um, Amarillo and um, then uh, in uh, he went to Oklahoma State and then later on in his life he came to Dallas which is where I'm I'm at now and uh, the the interestingness about this that like really caught me was him talking about the different restaurants he would go to in Dallas and one of them he was talking to was my wife's like favorite restaurant called Albernay's and he was telling the story in there about how uh, when he made like literally a billion dollars trading in the, uh, the oil market, um, that he, he had a conversation with his, his colleagues since he was in at Albernay saying, Hey, you know what? I'm about to hand it, hand you a check for a whole lot of money, but you need to remember who you are, what got you here and don't go out and buy a big fancy car with it. <laughs> and I just thought that was really interesting, but Honestly, like there was a lot of really, really interesting, good stories in this book. Uh, the last third of it or so, uh, kind of tuned out because he was talking about um, just his opinion on the future of oil, the future of water, future of natural gas, things like that. Um, and I kind of just tuned out because it wasn't wasn't necessarily what was interesting to me. But that was a really, really good book. Uh, next, this is one of my all time favorite trading books, like ever, always, ever. Um, oh. Actually, in the chat, if you could, if you've read T. Boone, T. T. Boone Pickens's uh, First Billion is the Hardest, let me know in the chat. Which, let me know what you thought about it. Uh, like I say, really, really good, a very interesting book to, to listen to. I'm glad I got a chance to finally. Uh, next is Trend Following. One of my all-time favoritest trading books. I'm really surprised because there's only a, about seven or eight tabs here. 
Um, I'm a tabber. So whenever I see things that I like, show the top here. Whenever I see things I like in my books, I, I, I ruin my books. Um, this book reads like a textbook. However, it is outstanding. So well written. Now, Michael Covell has a, a podcast that, that's, uh, I think it's called the trim following podcast with Michael Covell. I've tuned in a few times. Um, I've actually tried to get him on the, on, on my show, but I got to tell you, this is by far this, this should go on your shelf, no matter what, if you are a trader called trend following radio. And, and, uh, once this goes out, um, on the uh, recorded version, I'm going to have links to all this below to make it easy for you to find. But uh, this should absolutely 100% be on every trader's shelf without a doubt whatsoever. And I mean, honestly, like the, the subtitle here, how great traders make millions in up or down markets. Oh my gosh. It's so incredibly, incredibly useful. Hey, I see some more people joined on the, uh, the, the live stream here. If you could please type in uh, hashtag 10 minute traders to let me know that you're watching live or uh, if you're watching on the replay, hashtag team replay, and be sure to hit that like button. So it goes out to more people in the, uh, in the community. So yes, trend following radio. Uh, honestly, at the end of the day, if you're a trader, you want to catch trends. You want to really ride the trend from its bottom to its, its top. And that's, that's next to impossible. And that's kind of one of, uh, Michael Covell's, uh, this, uh, what am I trying to say? One of his key points inside this book is you're never going to find the top and you're never going to find the bottom. And if you are actually trying to find the top and trying to find the bottom, you're going to lose a ton of money. And I personally have done that. I spent so long trying to call tops and trying to call bottoms or quote contrarian trade. When, when something's going up, I'm going to sell it. Or when something's going down, I'm going to buy it. Trust me, that don't work. <laughs> I have, that's how I paid my Wall Street tuition was by trying to 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 fade the market moves when I really should have been trying to go along with the trends and 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 I'm I'm looking through this there there is one picture I don't know if I can find it that just is the most definitive this is how you trend follow a picture I wonder if I can find it real quick before dragging this out too long I don't think I can either way uh this needs to be a staple in your portfolio. Trend following by Michael Covell. And third on today's list, like I said, this is going to be um, a, a multi-part series because like, like I said, I started going through the books on the shelf. I'm like, oh, I can make some great, great content with just talking about my top three favorite books. I couldn't find my top three. I just kept pulling one off and I was like, oh, I like this one. Oh, I like this one. This one is called How I Made $2 Million in the Stock Market by Nicholas Darvish with commentary by my friend, Steve Burns. I love Steve. Steve and I are actually friends. Um, I've, I've had Steve on the show 15, 20 times. Um, but this was an eye opener and I don't know why I don't have any tabs in this, but like nearly every single page is like highlighted to death. I mean, I could just literally open every page and you can see all the highlights in it. This book is absolutely fantastic and outstanding. At the end of the day, like I said earlier, we want to catch trends. And Nicholas Darvish was a, uh, he was a performer of some kind. I don't remember exactly, but he was traveling literally all over the world. And the only way that he was able to trade was getting stock quotes from newspapers, or he would call into his broker and he'd say, you know, give me the price today. And basically he would try to put uh, the, the price of the stock inside of a box. And once it moved out of that box, Hey, that was a breakout and lots of traders trade breakouts and let things form inside of bases. Right. I mean, he was kind of the pioneer behind that. And Steve's commentary here really, really helps like bring it into the modern age and, um, just helps it be more current than what the original book was. And honestly, this, this is one of my all time favorites as well. Um, which is why I want to include it on the, uh, the first version of this, uh, episode, how I made $2 million in the stock market. So, you know, there, there are so many places where you can just get a wealth of knowledge on the internet. Um, I am absolutely sure I'll be having Steve's books on for the next versions of this. Uh, 
I, I mean, my all time, all time favorite trading book, which I couldn't find on my shelf, which means I have it somewhere else in my house is uh, new trader, rich trader by Steve Burns. And I listened to that one in the last four or five months. I, I, I consume audiobooks more than I, I consume regular books. Um, and sometimes I'll do both. Uh, but I listened to that while I was taking my kids camping uh, during coronavirus and uh, and on the way back. And just that one is so refreshing. And I, I told um, Brian Shannon about this after our, our conversation, uh, our first conversation together. And he went out and read it and he was like, wow, this, this really was good. But there's so much that you can learn from trading books. And really, we are so blessed to be able to have people who write books and to take the time to put like years and years and years of expertise, of knowledge, of trial and error, in my opinion, lots of uh, stock market, uh, Wall Street tuition, all in one place for you inside of a book. And I mean, I am so grateful for that. Now, granted, there are a handful of books. I, I won't pull them off the shelf um, that I've read and be like, this was a huge waste of time. I am so irritated by this book. And truth be told, it was one of the first trading books I ever read was one where I, I it just sucked and it made me mad by the time I got done with it, that I didn't pick up another trading book for years afterward. And people would ask me, hey, what's your favorite trading book? I'd be like, I don't really have one. And that was because I got so jaded on that one that really rocked me the wrong way. And I'm so glad I got over that because there's so much information that you can glean from some of these books. And so that that's why I want to cover today. Uh, these are my top three recommended books for going into 2021. Uh, T. Boone Pickens, The First Billion is the Hardest. Next is Trend Following by Michael Covell. And third is How I Made $2 Million in the Stock Market by uh, Nicholas Darvish and uh, Updated for the 21st Century by my friend Steve Burns. And those will be all linked down below uh, on Amazon. So go and check those out. And before you go, I actually have something for free for you. Uh, I wrote an ebook. I actually wrote um, 12 or 13 at this point. But this is one I like to give away to people. It's called the Triple Stock Profit System. Um, honestly, it's, it's a... A very well-known strategy that lots and lots of people do. Um, but it honest, honest God gives you three different ways to profit on just buying a stock. Um, and now obviously nothing's guaranteed, but using this, um, you can see how investors like throughout history have been able to profit three different ways on just owning a stock outright. So go and check that out. It's at triplestockprofits.com. And hey, listen, thank you so much for tuning in to today's live podcast. Really appreciate you. Uh, before you go, make sure you hit the uh, the thumbs up button, like I said, on whatever platform you're watching so it goes to more people. And uh, check out these books. Uh, honestly, like I said, T. Boone Pickens' uh, The First Billion is the Hardest. Uh, next is Michael Covell's Trend Following. And finally is how I made $2 million in the stock market. And we'll have links for all those down below. And uh, hey, look, thank you so much for your time today. And I will see you on our next live podcast, which will probably be next week because the holidays. And I'll see you on the next episode. Okay, so what'd you think? That was pretty incredible, right? Now, if you like that, that's only a taste, only a sample of what you're going to find in the full AI stock trading system. And I really highly encourage you to go and check this out. Obviously, you are interested in learning and how to trade, and that's why you're listening to this podcast. Now, I'm going to take and download my entire trading system that I use day in and day out onto you. <laughs> and the only way I'm going to be able to do that is over at the AIStockTradingSystem.com. You're going to get phase one, two, and three, several bonuses. And on top of that, I'm going to walk you through over a dozen trades that I put on inside of my account, holding your hand and showing you exactly how I got in, how I got out, how I use the artificial intelligence data, and how this could work inside of your own trading portfolio on a daily basis. So make sure you head on over to AIStockTradingSystem.com. That's AIStockTradingSystem.com to learn more and to get started and to download my decade plus worth of trading experience into your hands so you can start using the AI Stock Trading System today, the five-step system to take the guesswork out of trading. Hey, if you like this video, let me know by leaving me a like below and then subscribe and share it with somebody you think could use it as well. Be sure to comment below with your biggest takeaway from this episode and any suggestions you have for future episodes. And finally, make sure you watch these other videos to help you trade faster and trade smarter, and I'll see you on the next episode.